Welcome back, guys, to the Penthouse Five podcast, episode number sixteen. 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 Yes. Go on, Dave. What, what is it in a different language? Uh, he says in Spanish. If my high school mm. education serves me well, I believe. Yeah. If I'm wrong, got another one. Comment to the <laughs> podcast. <laughs> Penthouse Five band. There you go. <laughs> Mate, I've got Dave back on the podcast, finally. Yes. First one for this year, 2020. Thank goodness. Oh, John in his own game. was, oh, oh, oh boring. <laughs> one view. <laughs> Your own view. Yeah, dude. you. <laughs> <laughs> Me re-watching it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Anyway, uh, cracking up on this podcast. Yes. Today's episode, episode number 16. Yeah. Uh, we're going to be talking about what we're going to be talking about, Dave. I think today we're going to be talking about Pant Us 5. 2019 year in review we're going to be mm. talking about uh, the things we did things we did good things we could have improved on things we're looking to improve on for this year 2020 new decade pop pop yes um and uh yes it's just a kind of a, a cool chance to uh you know really go back over the last mm. year and kind of yeah what worked well what didn't just kind of a bit of analysis yeah man uh the, it's gonna be some laughter some tears it's gonna be yeah, it's going to be good. Yeah. Hopefully, it will benefit you guys as well. Mm. So, there we yeah. go. But before we get into that shit. Oh, here we <laughs> go. Oh, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Let's just have a quick catch up. What you've been doing? I ain't seen you. This is the first time I've seen you since. Uh, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Happy, Happy Hanukkah. Yeah. yeah. Kwanzaa. Or I, li- whatever. I literally saw you last time. It was obviously the Christmas gigs, wasn't it? And then obviously yeah. Christmas happened. Yeah. yeah, yeah. happened and stuff. And uh, yeah, you know. I had a bit of a whirlwind Christmas. Mm. Uh, it's kind of like crazy family stuff going on in Ireland. But. Um, Nah, New Year, really excited. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm hitting, I'm going to be 30 this year, so I've got a bit of extra kind of life perspective that's <laughs> started to hit me over the last few Something months. Something about 30. Yeah, I don't really, know why, because it's just a number, yeah. and it's a bit stupid. I, I think it's just, I, I really want to set myself up well, like mm. mentally, physically, yeah, yeah. Uh, with you know my work and my life and my habits. I really want to just enter the new decade of my life, smashing it. I want to yeah, like man. enter it running in the right direction, so... Yeah. Um, so yeah, just been focusing on just the, the little things. So we've been talking about like the books we've been reading and stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, I've been reading the David Goggins book "Can't Hurt Me," which is just incredible, awesome. Yeah, because he doesn't take any shit mm-hmm. at all. It <laughs> just tells you to look yourself in the mirror, face facts, yeah, deal with your demons, and punch mm. in the fucking face <laughs> and deal with it. Which I love. It's I so really good. it it yeah. really hits home for me, especially in the world we live in nowadays mm. for someone to just cut out all the bullshit and the yeah, delicacy yeah. and the oh, 100%. Nah, yeah, he's yeah. just like, fuck that. Yeah, you want to fix it. it. You need to just get stuck yeah, in. Yeah. And uh, so, yeah, I'm, I'm getting stuck in. I'm doing more workouts and running and stuff. And, nice. And yeah, it's going well. It's going good. How about nice. you? What have you been up to? You know, same old shit, man. Just uh, 2020, like getting those goals in, you know? Yes. A few podcasts on my own, waiting for you to come back. <laughs> <laughs> but hopefully the next episode we uh, we put out, hopefully we're going to have a guest on. Uh, it's going to be a special one. It's going to be the first of uh, hopefully many new type of episodes, isn't it? You know, obviously, we'll do our thing. I'll do some solo ones and then try and get some guests on as well. Cool. Get some outside knowledge. Mysterious. You know? I'm excited. Yeah. You know? yeah. yeah I yeah. might actually watch, watch this one. one. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Viewer number two. Yeah, hundred yeah. percent increase. Yeah, you know. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. That's what we need. Numbers, yes. Yeah. Quick maths. We watched Star Wars. We did watch Star Wars. Well, not together, but we watched. Yeah. It. I mean, in my in my heart. Yeah, you we were there. Did. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, what do you think? Star I loved Wars. it. I thought it was yeah. great. I thought the the previous one, Episode Eight, divided a lot of people. Mm. Some people loved it. A lot of people hated it. Um, I thought it was it was good. I thought he had some incredible moments, but this one, I mean, it's the end of the Skywalker saga. Mm. I thought it did a really good job of you know the nearly impossible task of wrapping it all up. Um, it was really fun. It went a million miles an hour, which was awesome. Yeah. It was so it wasn't ferocious. Slow at all, was it? Nah, that's, that's, it was just yeah, tore yeah. through everything. Uh, I mean, can we talk about spoilers? Are we? Is it? I thought. <laughs> 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 if you ain't yeah, seen it, <laughs> fuck you. If you're in the Star Wars, you know, and you, you haven't probably, seen the film yet, yeah, pause yeah. this, go watch it, come back, unpause this, carry on watching. There we go. Carry what, on listening. I understand what we're on. What we on? We're about, you know, about four minutes in. Four four minutes in yeah. Um, yeah, the bit where I thought fucking Chewie died, uh, like, oh, uh, yeah. my heart was broken. I didn't understand how they twisted that. Because the, there were two ships oh, you just didn't initially, see you, just, you didn't really oh, notice right. it. But right, yeah, right. one of them flew away. Yeah, uh, and then yeah, yeah her coming right. out with like the Palpatine oh, lightning bolt yeah. powers was that amazing. was sick. 
Oh, and then yeah. like the the fight in the ocean was incredible. Mm, that was all that CGI so- was amazing. Han Solo come back. Yeah. Like, oh, I tell you one of my favorite bits actually. There's so so many like throwbacks <clears> on there. Mm. I loved, absolutely loved it, and I got it straight away when uh, she's on the island with Luke Skywalker's ghost, or he just appears. He, he just ap- appears out of yeah, nowhere. Yeah. When she's uh, she he, just he catches lands. the lightsaber that she throws away. No, no. Away. Well, yeah, yeah. He does that. Comes out. Says, you know, still being a pussy. David Gordon says, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, uh, and then he brings the X-Wing out of the water. Yeah, and like Yoda like, did. Boom! Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. like a throwback to, uh, is it Emperor Strikes Back? Empire Strikes I think Back? He, Empire I Strikes think Back? Maybe. I think, I think it is that Yoda one, did that at the start of Return of the Jedi, but I'm not quite sure. You might be right. No, I thought, no, no, because Return of the Jedi, it... the first time you see Luke is when he comes, Jared the Hutt, that all that stuff's going on, and he's like... He's like wearing all black, got the green lightsaber. Yeah. Do you know what I mean, he's I, I thought I've he done br- my training. I'm I thought here. he brought the X-wing up so that Luke could go and fight Darth Vader the second time, or was that the first time? Anyway, it doesn't matter. We're, we're talking about. No, differences. I can't remember. <laughs> we'll go watch it again. But you know, it was a throwback. That was really it? cool. It was like yeah, fans yeah. will know this. Um, so that was decent. Yeah, it's kind of heart wrenching again when like they had to wipe C three PO's memory, and I was like, mm. oh, that's really sad. That little yeah. monster, that the, the little yeah, dude, yeah, yeah. he was fucking hilarious. <laughs> that's yeah. so funny. The oh, noise right. he was making. Um, have you watched it yet? The, uh, the Mandalorian. Mandalorian. Not yet. No. Oh, man, it's so good. I'm gonna watch it, it now. It's so so good. Yeah. Yeah. No spoilers there because they've not watched it. So there we go. I've heard everyone who I know who's watched it has said it's mm. absolutely brilliant. It's wicked. Um, so it's yeah, really, I need to check really it out. Good. Whoever directed that I, I can't I don't know who did but they should do one of the Star Wars films man mm. it's real good well yeah because really um, really I think originally Ryan Johnson who directed the previous Star Wars mm. was supposed to do a new trilogy and then obviously it was a bit hit and miss so they were like no uh, okay. so then they were going to get the Game of Thrones guys to do a new hell no and, and then they've signed some hundred million dollar deal with Netflix to do movies just on Netflix so obviously right. Disney got, got yeah. shafted so Better that's that's still in the Netflix air. Account, then. Well, if, so yeah. So if Mandalorian does really well, then yeah. it could be that guy, mate. I hope so. so Honestly, yeah, yeah. you gotta watch it, man. It's only eight or ten episodes, I think. But it's so good. Is the season over then? Is it? Ten? Yeah. Uh, well, yeah. Obviously, you just gotta wait for the next one to come out. Yeah. Cool. Um, yeah, I'll do that. Yeah. Anyway, let's start this episode. Um, so we're doing a review of our 2019 as a band, all pros and cons. Uh, I guess stuff that we learnt, stuff that we. Make mistakes we make so yeah. we make mistakes everyone and we will this year as well but yeah you know, it's so always learning about it that's exactly you know. it's part of the process man mm. um so where do you want to start from the what was your year highlight with the band evoke festival that mm. was that was one of my performance highlights because i've never performed a gig and had such a buzz from start to finish and then it's come off after the we finished performing and the buzz is still there so good. it was so yeah, it was so so the, good. The medleys. Oh, yeah, it, oh it, my was, God. it was. It was like yeah, it was, it was the highlight episode. reel of like <laughs> just the craziest yeah. shit that we had oh, man, it's in so the locker, yeah. and we had an amazing sound system, proper festival stage. Yeah, really cool crowd there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that was yeah, that oh, was man. wicked. That was, that was so such good. a good day. Just yeah. I remember the buzz. Yeah, the buzz coming off, and even during it, I just remember looking yeah. around <laughs> exactly. and, like as we were performing and being exactly. like, "This is." That's the thing. It was like it was it was like mash up and mash up and mash up and segue and mash up and mash up. Mm. There's so much stuff going on, and the whole time I was thinking, oh, "I can't wait to this next bit." <laughs> <laughs> and that's that. And you're like, "Next," <laughs> like, you know. And it's just like climbing, climbing. Yeah. Oh, man, it's so so good. But like, I I literally I think I scrolled through our Instagram the other day or my photos or something mm. like that. And I was just uh, seeing some of the stuff we'd done like last year, like Italy. The whole yeah, trip man. was fucking amazing. Road like, trip to Italy. Yeah, I mean that was amazing. My first Ibiza. time in Rome. Jesus, man. Ibiza like, was incredible. Oh my god! Like get flown in like superstars. We didn't. Yeah. Uh, this is the this is the gig I want to do because um, we flew in. We got up super early Saturday morning. Mm-hmm. Um, after probably drinking a little bit too much the day before, but we're still professional. I was. So oh, I don't drink. Oh so. uh, yeah, yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Okay, that sticky dance floor and like, <laughs> the hellhole. But um, uh, yeah, we got flown in, and there were sound guys there mm. that they eventually sorted out all of our equipment. Mm. Um, and then we got um driven back and forth from the hotel to the venue and looked after all day. Yeah, man. And we had amazing like three course like oh, that food, Michelin so style food. It was amazing. Steak. Oh, was so good. I, I think there was fish as well. I didn't have that. But even the, the starter, like the food is so fresh, mm. so nice. Um, yeah. The venue was just 
incredible by the beach and the ocean oh, man, so yeah, the waves lapping um, the gig was just great fun as well the crowd and the crowd loved you know, it it, was, just... it wasn't a load of people it definitely wasn't our biggest gig or anything like that but like the people would just really well, enjoy it I'd rather perform to 50 people 100%. that are absolutely loving it yeah, yeah, yeah. than 100 people or 200 people yeah. that are just yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. Thankfully, most of the times we play, it's it tends to go yeah. down well. So. Yeah, is yeah. That's when that's when you know you have got something good. You're doing the right sort of thing. Is when you're being booked, and at least ninety ninety five percent of the time, the crowd is up for it, dancing, blah blah blah. Mm. You know like, you're doing your job right. Yeah, if it's yeah. like one percent, two percent, three percent of the time, like you have that one odd occasion that's very rare that they're not that great. Yeah, then you know you're on the right tracks. Do you know what I mean? There's always improvement to be made, but that's that's what I think anyway, mm. my own opinion. Um, so let's th- have a look then. Um, what kind of things could we talk about that we learn and we want to improve on maybe? I'd say mm. uh, maybe one thing that we want to keep doing is I'm really proud of uh, how the level of quality jumped mm. with the videos that we did Promo. at the university yeah, this yeah, year yeah. Uh, or 2019 no, compared to 2018. Mm. Uh, and that's something we really want like, to continue to push yes, yes, yes. for the next one, yeah. which is going to be hard because it was. But you know, we'll do yeah. it. Yeah, we'll so get we, there. We've but got the, some promo coming up this year. This, mm. is, this will be our third time now, which is great at the City uh, of London at University. The City of London Helping University, out. yeah, that'll be wicked. I uh, got a few projects in that one, which mm. should be good. But yeah, you're right, man. Like it's, I think we learned a lot from previous years of filming and stuff like that. Yeah. What and went kind of right and wrong during the film and yeah, recording process? Yeah. Exactly, and and I think we can do an even better job next time. Just just really, yeah. I think I think it's like it's all about getting the experience and and learning from it, obviously, and then as well when the next time comes, planning a lot of that stuff, mm. you know. So, I mean, we have so much experience in the in the promo videos thing now that we can look back on and see what worked and what didn't work, and then when we come towards that time as well, it's like planning exactly what we want to do, you know, yeah. down to the outfits, down to the shots, down to the music that we're selecting, down to the arrangements, down the people to people that are coming in to help us. Yeah. Yeah. Stuff, all yeah. that sort of stuff, you know? So yeah, man, definitely. So yeah, that's definitely something I want to continue. I'm trying mm. to think of, can you think of anything off the top of your head? Um, things that you look back and you're like, we could have done that better or, or uh, we'll aim to do that better next year. Um, well, th- something just off the top of my head before you said that, mm-hmm. I think that it was an improvement was uh, towards the end, probably the last couple of months, um, we've got another new look. Uh, mm. And it's it's almost like up, like you said, the promo is up from 2018 to 2019. The I think outfits. we stepped it up yeah. on the on the attire that we're wearing, you know, like... Yeah, I'm looking, really happy with the look. Yeah, really because happy. I remember when I thought about this band, like one of the elements on, on the look, like clothing wise, mm. I really wanted people to make comments we had that once like um i'm not sure if it was last year i think it was the year before that um we played that pie at the italian uh villa it was called in pool right Do you remember, or bournemouth somewhere like that down south yeah I think yeah so. nathan was on drums doing mm. drum depth um and i remember we we looked nice and stuff but and we had had a comment from uh the woman that books us um but you know when you're at a wedding and stuff and these events and stuff it's not um the easiest to stand out I mean you don't want to stand out too much because you're a band but you want to look the part as well yeah. you know but everyone's dressed nice at a wedding mm. most of the time uh, but yeah that that outfit we got now is I mean just it's popping you know yeah, and we yeah, had yeah. comment after comment after comment at all these gigs and I was like you know you're on the right track just everyone around to were like wow you look guys look good mm. it's just like that's yeah. what you want isn't it you exactly. want people to instantly have a positive reaction to you yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. and it's the tiniest details can do that yeah and if you can have loads of them tiny details to add up, yeah, then yeah. that's going to make a really good impression. Yeah. And hopefully get more gigs. So, well, that's yeah. It. That's it's it. The, little, the little details really matter. 100%. Especially when it comes to something like this. Because, you know, a large part of how we get our work is through our reputation and mm. through the, you know, the opinion that people have of us. So yeah. the quicker we can kind of create that positive mm. opinion. It's like first impressions, isn't it? Yeah. It's, 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 before it's, they've like, even heard the band... They've seen you, band. They've, yeah. they've seen the people. They've seen the band. They've seen the musicians before they even played a night. Yeah, it's not even. It's, it's not specifically a music thing. That's just like a life thing in yeah. general, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you're, you know, it's, it's like turning up to an interview. You want to look mm. good. You want to look professional and presentable. That's it. It's just the kind of the entertainment, glitz and glamour mm. kind of version of that. Yeah. Um. But yeah, you're right. That's definitely 
Yeah, yeah definitely really, pro. really big step up. Mm. We're, we're looking, we're looking real good. Yeah, man, so that's cool. Um, I'm trying to think of anything we want to improve on or mistakes we maybe made last year. Um, we had one incident. Um, I think it was a gig that I wasn't there, and that's probably why it all fell apart. <laughs> <laughs> um, Go on then. But we had an incident where. Uh, wasn't it I believe it was the person who was in charge like the wedding organiser maybe mm. the, the events manager for a, a, a wedding or a party that, that you guys performed at mm. when I wasn't there and uh, I think there was a bit of a miscommunication of like what's the protocol for if we want you to perform longer Yes, and there was a little bit of confusion yes, 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 because yes, yes, we yes. hadn't we didn't really have a, a, yeah. a proper yeah. plan yeah, for great, that scenario. Yeah, great shout, man. Great, great, great shout. Yeah, yeah that was uh, towards the first quarter, maybe, around that time of, of 2019, mm. um, just as we were starting to get into wedding season. Like this, I think it was like springtime, like mm. that, that type of thing. Um, yeah, it was a massive marquee. It was a cool wedding. Um, clients were great. Um, some of the guests were all right. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> But like generally, like when we were playing, crowd were loving it. Mm. But yeah, we come to this situation basically where, um, from the agency uh, that had big, booked that particular gig with us or for us, um, they have on their website or you know they give us the information on what the times are, right? Mm. So I've been told that we're finishing at like it was something like ten thirty. I think we were finishing at that was the finish time. Yeah, and you know I come I, and I send the message. I. I relay all the information that I have after contacting the client as well to the band so everyone knows what's going on um, and yeah 10.30 is the finish time we go in there with that mindset uh, and then the wedding planner or whoever it was that mm. type of person uh, there was some conversation because she wants us to finish a bit later or something and I was like oh I've been told we're finishing at half 10 and she looks at me like what? Half? no like that's not like what wedding finishes at half ten. I was like, that's what we've been booked for. Like that's what time I've been told. She was like, no, no, like, blah blah blah. So yeah, it was a, it was a bit of a that was obviously some weird communication failure mm. on like you know I don't know maybe I should have checked it agency or whatever or I should have spoken to the client or whatever. Well, but like, it's many just, anyways, it's, you, you know, know, it's just something to learn from. It's another hundred percent factor 100%. that we just you know you, you learn yeah. and you improve. So you there's, know, there's next there's time. definitely a learning curve from that one, mm. which is. Um, yeah, that hundred percent get the finish time and the, uh, get get all the timing details exactly from the client, and then set, in black set, and white in, in yeah. email or something. And on top of that, set out the expectations of <clears throat> what the extra kind of yeah. fees are for yeah, the band. Yeah, exactly. If yes. there is, yes, like if if we're booked to play until twelve and they want us to play until one, yeah, then you know, you, yeah, I th- I, don't, I think it's fair to say mm. you should be charging. You know, a bit extra for yeah. all that service. Oh, 100%, 100%. Um, yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. So yeah, it's just about you know making sure you've got your plan, mm. making sure the client is aware of it. Yeah, and yeah, then yeah. and then there's no issues. So yeah. that's all good. Exactly. Yeah, definitely. That's a good point, man. That's a good learning curve. That's why I'm here. Good, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, so what about so going into the new year? Um, mm. What that are things it. like? Have you? written down like goals aims and goals for the band going ahead in this new year yeah so targets to hit or so the targets to hit is literally 50 gigs this year um new year's eve gig as well we really need to get a new year's eve gig i mean the band this band's only been going this year is going to be our third year once we get past april that'll be our the start of our third year so we're Mm. still in our second year technically yeah um but april onwards this year we be our third year um so yeah i really want to I am determined to get a New Year's Eve gig. I mean, the the great, uh, a big goal of mine is to get a New Year's Eve gig abroad with Penthouse Five. Yeah. Um, but yeah, whether it's that this year or not, New Year's Eve at least would be great. Um, developing two more acts under the name of Penthouse Five, which we're already planning to do. So that's the four piece. I've got a couple of ideas. Which I was going to say, are we allowed to talk about that? You're going to keep it under wraps, or? Uh, no, we can talk about it. I mean, yeah. it's it's literally. We don't hold anything back. <laughs> yeah. No one's going to watch this anyway. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> By the time you watch this, we've already done it. <laughs> we're going to say we're already dead. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Or <laughs> listening, whatever. Uh, anyway, <laughs> get back on topic, bro. So, yeah, uh, a couple of ideas. I, I, 
wanted to create some more different like acts under the, under the Penthouse Five umbrella because hmm. um, we got our main band, which is the Five Piece with the male singer, um, and we got Seven Piece now as well, and that's like slow to the burner. Um, but we still got the option at least anyway. Mm-hmm. We have the duo already, which we've used like a fair amount since the beginning. Um, but some other projects I'm looking to do. Uh, we've got the five piece as well, the female singer. <clears throat> Again, that's a slow burner as well, but like we've got some gigs this year with it. Um, but yeah, other ideas I want, I'm trying to put together the five piece that's more like soul Motown. So we have our type of style, which is like pop, R&B, soul, like, throwback 90s like mm. kind of be, like what we grew up listening to right yeah. like anyone who's like 30 40 that kind, of, that kind of era um and with some dance and garage music in there as well um so we have our kind of particular niche the yeah the five piece with the female is more like soul motown that kind of vibe mm. um and the singer i've chosen to use as well is fucking incredible yeah, but, i haven't met her yet i'm looking <clears> forward to it though i mean yeah her, her vocal is incredible um She's not the greatest at replying <laughs> to messages, <laughs> so which makes you women. <laughs> yeah, but to be fair, I, that's Alex, not, that's Alex, uh, Alex Tan, who is our female singer, um, she is very, very good at replying. Like mm. I literally sat down this morning and was creating a set list that we've now got to work on for February onwards, um, and she replied to me straight away. Like she's very good at that. Well, yeah, is, it's just it just depends on the person and stuff, and yeah. Yeah, just, I mean, every, everyone has pros and cons about their work ethic and stuff, and mm. and that's just a great thing about her. How what's what's <clears> the the name of the new singer? Um, Tahira. And then. how old is she? She I'm not sure. She's in her twenties, maybe mid twenties. Okay, I was gonna say if she early, was like early to early twenties. So okay, so I'm it might sure, might I'm just be sure. an experience thing. Yeah, uh, but, but she's done. She did a uh, tour, uh, back in vocals for. A pop act. I can't remember the the name. Oh, okay. Yeah, big name. Um, so no excuse, really. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but no, she's she's wicked. So. Yeah, I'm really looking. You've been talking yeah, like yeah. really big in her up, so I can't yeah. wait to meet her and yeah, play man. with her. She did. She did uh, the Sheraton gig that we used to do at the hotel. She did uh, like before our yeah, band yeah. took over it. Uh, we did Purple Rain. She smashed it and wow. like literally goosebumps. Man, it's nice. so good. So okay. good. Okay. Ah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, man. But yeah, we, we, so we're going to make that, mm-hmm. uh, put that together. The other couple of ideas I got, uh, which we kind of started working on, we did it in Ibiza, which was the four-piece band, which is drums, keys, bass, and lead vocal, mm-hmm. male vocal. Um, it's like more dance-centric. It's more, it? Yeah, it's more dance, house music, garage music. Yeah. It's more that and Cause, pop. Because that, like. that 90s kind of piano... Yeah. Led um, yeah, yeah, kind yeah. of dance vibe. That's yeah. it's coming back into mm. modern music. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So we could advertise that as like a '90s throwback dance band. Mm-hmm. But we've got a, a really wide, um, mm. you know, portfolio of songs from from nowadays. Like we just exactly. started playing the new Dua Lipa song. Yeah, uh, I suppose that's more kind of disco vibe. But yeah. I mean, there's a ton of songs in the top forty where you can easily pick out all the 90s influences mm. yeah as uh, really yeah. running back so it's a good time to mm. to jump on it to do something like that. yeah mm. that's it man so we, we've already started that anyway and we'll do more at the uni and then the other final thing i'm thinking of doing is just like a trio and that'll be um uh myself well so it's, it's gonna be probably like instrumental trio which would be drums bass and guitar um no keys uh, uh what you gone <laughs> but you won't You're get done. any gigs though. Like, like, what's there to see? <laughs> Dave, you can't be part of everything, right? <laughs> Why? <laughs> no, that's, it's just. It. It's just. Why don't I play drums on the keyboard? Get yeah, rid of the right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, swing. It's, it's just uh, a few other little projects, anyway. Mm. Those kind of things. Really, really, it's just to try and test the water. See, yeah, absolutely. You know, see what, um, what else we can make. See what works. You know, that's that's again, that's part of. Uh, I don't know, it's kind of like trial and error, you know? Like again, we put all the effort into the seven piece. It hasn't really taken at the moment. Who's to say it won't? Mm. But, you know, you've got to try some other projects as well, you know? And the point of the these other uh, acts and stuff that we want to make is really just to try and get different gigs, just to try and explore yeah. different areas. You're just dipping your toe in the water. Like one, yeah, exactly. one of the new options might really take. Yeah, and exactly. Might, we might be getting more gigs with that than, exactly. than with the main band. So. Yeah. You know, it, and it's it's like any business. You want to expand your portfolio. Mm. You want to offer different exactly. products to yeah, to yeah. your consumer base. Yeah. Um. And you know, if you you make a new product and that catches and mm. sweet, then you have got yourself more business. Absolutely, so. man. Yeah. But so that's pretty much it. 
or from sorry what were you going to say no 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 that's... yeah I mean that's that's pretty much it from I guess the the, the goals of the band hmm. uh, for this year is yeah like I said make make a few more projects like that um, see what happens with it keep it rolling obviously keep on building on momentum and developing uh, the the stuff we already do especially the five piece I mean the the Penthouse five is the, really the main five piece with the male vocal mm. and um, that's what's done the best that's what we've put most effort into and I think um, keep keep uh, the goal is really to keep on top of things like keep improving everything we can you know like I mean 2018 when we had those rehearsals um, like our very first rehearsals and stuff like that like we've really put in the effort where we you know, went through the songs, rehearsed them all, and then we got to the point where we ran it as a show. And then I remember watching the video back and I made notes and it's like, okay, this is how this is going to flow. We'll change the order of this. You know, mm. we kind of had a very, a bit of structure to it, yeah. you know, and and how we're doing lights and how we'd end and stuff like that. And I think just need to build up on that a bit more, you know, like, yeah, just, just try and try and learn from everything that's around, you know, like what, one of the reasons I, I did the garage medley um, and I think that works so well as the last song to the mm. first set is because it really peaks and ends on, on a massive climax. Yeah. Um, just with the music and the way the medley works, and the way I want before I before we did that before I like put those songs together and that I really was inspired by the, the musical Wicked because when you watch that right before the intermission, um, the last thing is the massive most climactic part of the whole musical mm. and it literally blows your mind like he literally the, the highest note the whole scene is just like amazing and then it just goes all black like that you know and I was like fuck I can't wait for the next <laughs> section you know and you're just chatting about it like to the, whoever you're watching yeah, you're like yeah. oh my god how good was that like you know and you're like buzzing waiting for the next part and that's exactly what I wanted for the band to smash the first set and then start the next set with an anticipation from the audience that's know? interesting actually like uh, potentially having a bigger climax the end of the first mm. set than the mm. end of the second yeah yeah, yeah. Um, because yeah like you say if you can end it in the best end the first set in the best way possible mm. the people are, are going to want to stay and check yeah, out yeah. what 100%. the rest are going to do that's clever I like yeah, that yeah. and uh, it's, I think it's really important as well um, I think I've read something recently but it was about um, you know the first thing you hear and the last thing like we were talking earlier about um you know, the, the outfits you wear is the first impression, mm. those kind of things. And it, I remember hearing it years and years ago when I was like in school and stuff like that. It's like, you know, the, the very last thing you hear is what the people remember or the very first thing, you know, it's the Jim Quick start. talks about that. Uh, yeah. The He's like the learning memory guy. Mm -hmm. um, it's like if someone gives you a long sequence of numbers, you'll remember the first few and you'll remember the last few in the mm -hmm. middle is where it all get hazy. Yeah. Um, and so you play know, whatever you, you, you want. <laughs> <laughs> but, but like I said, you can apply that to us, you want to make sure mm. that the start and the end. Yeah. Uh, obviously, you want it all it. to be good, but yeah. you want them to be the climaxes. Yes. So people are going to yeah. you know, take, that's, have that's, the takeaways. That's exactly why we used to have the intro, which we needed to put back in. Yeah, we you did. Know? But like, for example, we're going to run out of time here in a sec, but um, we used to have an intro and we, we still need to get back to that. But mm. it was before, if, if we played an event which didn't have a first dance, for example, just a corporate event or something yeah. like that, or a party, we used to start with this intro that was specifically to get attention. It was it's like a full, hype. It's just yeah. a hype intro. It's yeah. not even a it was song. It's thirty just a, seconds. Yeah, and it was like full band, full volume. Yeah, when you remember to it was plug like, your bass in. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. My mistakes. Pro and cons. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. But anyway, we're gonna have to wrap it up there. I guess. Yeah. Um, bit of a throwback to twenty nineteen. Yeah, Probably man. A few more things we could have discussed, but. That's all right. It was good. We that was good. More things to talk about in 2020, man. Let's yeah. look ahead. Oh, man, there's going to be some good shit happening. Yeah, I know it. I know it's going to be good. Anyway, uh, thank you for watching the Penthouse 5 podcast, and thank you for listening. If you're on audio, can you hear me? <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, make sure you check us out. We're going to be doing this every Wednesday, 6 a.m. We're going to be uploading the video and the audio. So make sure you check us out. Penthouse 5 band. That's Penthouse number 5 band. All social media. And you can find us, uh, the podcast, on all of that. Uh, anything to say Dave before we peace out uh, thanks for listening if you did um, throw us some comments uh, give us a shout we'd love to hear from you any questions you have any feedback um, we want to build a, a community of musicians and even if you're not a musician you know and you just enjoy the podcast say hello talk to us that's what we want alright thanks for watching guys thanks for listening peace out